Hello friends, how's everybody doing? This is your friend Jeff playing Ultimate General Civil War. We're, we're on the next day of Richmond and we're going to continue on and, and hopefully we can finish it at this... Hopefully we can finish this battle off uh, in this as the last video. So let's see if we can do that. It's going to take a while because this thing's going to open up to a whole giant map. But anyways, the first task that we have to do is we have to, you know, get that fort. Or at least set up to get the fort. Or at least try. Now, as you can see right here, um, I got uh, Min uh, Miller, I think it is. Yeah. I don't necessarily know how close I can go. But we already see a gun. So I'm going to tell all four guns. Okay, so they see my they see my siege weapon, so my siege weapon has to move. Son of a gun. They do see it. They do see it. They have a gun over here that sees it and they're shooting at it. Now, a siege weapon, that's a very expensive weapon. So, anyways, it's going to move. Oh, and, and, and for some reason, we see that gun. So now, I'm going to put... Uh, oh, but we don't see it now. That's kind of weird, ain't it? Okay, we're going to move the guns a little bit into the woods. Like I said, I, I'd ask you, how could they see in the woods, right? But we're trying to get this force. We've got a couple of 24-pounders here, and the idea is we gotta we got to avoid whatever's in here and come around this way. Okay, and it's, it looks like a clump of people and stuff, but, um... Now, do I not hear shooting? Okay, well, they're gonna shoot in this area. And they're just gonna keep on shooting. Plus they have ammo, so they can shoot all day long. Got a hundred thousand in, in uh, ammo. Fire. Fire. Okay, so but I can't lose sight of this here. So that that they just got to be able to do what they got to do. I, I the, these guys aren't doing nothing other than the four guns have to shoot at somebody. I don't care who they got to. But these guys have got to shoot. Like why are they? Oh, do I have to put them on hold or something? Like, everybody... Like, and, and like I said, um, I, I, w I would like them to shoot the gun if they can do it. Yeah, see, okay, so they, they must have some pretty good guns. And like I said, I don't understand how they can see me. Right, they don't see the, the sniper. But, I mean, this is the last battle. If I lose those guns, it doesn't, I guess it really doesn't matter. I mean, I've got plenty of artillery units all over the place, so it doesn't really matter. You know, that's the only thing, like, it's, it's funny, like, when you get to the end of the campaign, it's kind of like, all the things that you did throughout the campaign, that you want to preserve whatever you got, it, it, now it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, it truly doesn't. Now, I don't know if they got anybody there. 
Let's let's bust a, a skirmisher so we can at least see. And so, okay, so I think what I like to do is I like to set up. I, I like to set up a, a, a here because they get reinforcements. So I take a little bit of the force that's going to go around and I take half of the force to, to make a, you know, a line here because um, we're going to have to eventually go this way, but they're also going to get reinforcements. And we kind of want to cut the, cut those guys off. I don't know when they get them, but I know they do get them. And it's just a matter of time. And so... Now, I can't remember where they come from, but like I said, if we generally get in this area, it should be good. I guess the calf can go take a peek. All right, and then why don't you move like that? Now, I can't remember if I always stay above this little road here or what, so I gotta be careful. But like I said, this is gonna have to be the force. Uh, this is the f this is the fifth core. This is the guy that's these are the rookies that that played at the start of this battle, and and they still have to do this. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like it's it's amazing that um, I have to do this with this core right here. But I am. All right, why don't you? If you're gonna get shot, you might as well head in, I guess. Yeah, I imagine the, the first guys heading up are gonna really get hammered by the, their guns. Okay, so again, uh, let me try to um, manage this a little bit. I probably realize you don't want to go into canister, but you got to get closer to be more effective. And we do have other units coming to help you out.
Alright, so now this is going to be really ugly, but I mean, it, it is what it is. It's the last battle. So, you know, the lo whatever losses I take, but th then again, you, you look at it, I'm using all rookie infantry units, so... So it wouldn't be that bad, even if there were other battles from now, you know what I mean? Like, and not only that, these guys are getting experience. Like this guy, he only lost 36, and he's got 400 kills already. And he's a rookie, so I mean, he's... He's got the jostling, I mean... Let's take a look at the Jocelyn, right? It's got 7.36 for damage. Effective range 400. Fire rate 150. That's the kicker right there, 150. That's a high rate. Now it'd be nice if you get closer. Don't forget, we got, a, we got, um, I think we have two siege weapons and two 20s here. Now, I, I could have brought my 24s over there, but <clears throat> I'm afraid that their guns will target them. So these guys, unfortunately, are gonna take the brunt of it. And we're gonna see if we can do it. But, but, but you gotta remember, we, we do have four artillery shooting at them. So if they're facing us, they're getting flanked. Now, of course, we could try to rush them, but this is my only forcer over here, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Matter of fact, I'll bring the cab up over. So yeah, we can see if we can do it, you know, like, we're, we're just gonna see if we can do it. And actually, Woods can get over there. And I guess so can the ammo, for now. But I got the 224s here because, you know, um... Just gonna rearrange this slightly. I don't know exactly how they're gonna come in, but... At least I'm going to be prepared in case they do. So this is kind of like protecting my flank. I'll send the two 900 guys, uh, and I'll leave the two sixes here. And matter of fact, I'll send my sniper. 
Because if, you know, he gets shot at... Okay, so we lost this unit. Alright, we're gonna have to charge. We're gonna have to charge just because, like I said, we're, we're getting canister too much. Like, this guy got canister big time. Okay, I think we can all come on down. Okay, so they 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 lost their guns. They lost their guns. Okay. Okay, he just died. So, okay. Cause, okay. So that went okay. I mean... You know, I took, like, that one unit really got canistered big time. I mean, that's what made me charge them, but, you know what I mean? It worked, so, you know. But, yeah, to have a combined force there, otherwise it wouldn't have worked. Like, each of those guns would have canistered onto us. And we're going to we're gonna try to knock this out in this video. Like, I want to I wanna be able to just finish this right here and now. So, I mean, we are, I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to just go right into it. I mean, I already have a force right there, so, um, we, okay, it, you know what, I'm going to tell you something. So, uh, you can see right here, JMP, this is a JMP T uh, T10 uh, test mod. You can see that they did not get that reinforcements that they get, so they, they must be somewhere else. Um, uh, yeah, there is no reinforcements that came here. And so that's kind of weird right there, um, from what I know of the base game and the UI mod. So yeah, that is, um, that's kind of interesting. Okay. So uh, with that out of the, you know, okay, so with that thought, you know, that's what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead. So then, I guess we're going to put an assault on this fort. And now I got to consider... Okay, so he... I'm going to tell this guy to leave. And now I think I need... Um, I need the 20s. I need the twenties and I need the siege weapons. I think the twenty fours I'm going to put into the fort. Let me see what else can I do. Um, hmm. Why don't you guys go over here? You go there. You take that. 
Bitte. Da. I'm gonna tell these two 600s to go inside the fort. I'm gonna tell the ammo to get over here. And the sniper can get over here. Alright, that's that. Now we gotta... Alright, we're just gonna go, what we are gonna do is just go forward. I mean, normally I wouldn't do this, I would I would do it a little bit more conservatively, but this is just, you know, it seems not, it doesn't seem difficult, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, I'm just gonna send the guys here to, because the more pressure we put on them anyways, uh, would then allow me to make a, make a strategy or a decision at some point of you know how to better do it but again this is the last battle to me and i don't even know why we're here and we don't even claim this uh, supply thing here but i mean we owned all this and they gave it right back to the enemy on the next day isn't that kind of weird i mean if you if you, in the real war, if you took something, you would hold it, wouldn't you? You wouldn't just walk away from it and give it up, would you? I mean, I'm just asking. Like, I don't know if that's really what happened in a civil war, but I mean, uh, seriously. Uh, I had all the objectives. There's no reason for me to have to take them back. Like, we should be able to claim this. Like, I don't get it. Do I have to put infantry on you? Like, seriously? Okay, so my calf claimed that one, but okay, it finally got claimed. Yeah, I mean that that that's that's outrageous. All right, so I don't I don't necessarily know uh, what's going on here. So I I think they do have some units here. So we're gonna we're gonna find out because we're gonna send everybody. I mean, these are all uh, good units. So when they make contact. Uh, they'll, they'll be able to fight. It's not like they can't fight. They're, they're going to be able to fight. These guys, I'm not worried about them. And I have so many units that, you know what I mean? Like, normally you'd want to do this more con conservatively, but right now we are just going to keep on moving all these units and... If they do have units here, we'll engage them and we'll fight them. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Like they're, they're, they're all moving forward. Yeah, and like I said, I'm not even watching this, but guess what? You got a gun shooting at you. Got a... Hey, as a matter of fact, uh, I wonder. Oh yeah, and they got another fort right here. I was gonna, I was gonna take my cab over here to try to steal their supply wagon, but the problem would be that this guy, th I'm sure this is not empty, and they would, they would blast us. So yeah, I gotta tell all these units to keep moving, I guess. Like I said, I don't even know if they have any any force over here. I mean, if they don't have a force right here, um I mean, these rookies 
these rookies are doing a fantastic job even though they, they're, they're, their numbers are going down but I mean it is what it is I mean I you know, I'm not gonna Okay, so we must have Grant's uh, group here because they got two star units. And so like I said, these are uh, my uh, better units obviously. Yeah, this is a waste. It doesn't, you know. I guess I, I wonder. They don't. It doesn't look like they have anybody here. So let's just tell everybody to get over here. Yeah, I guess everybody. I forgot about this siege weapon over here. And I got a lot here. Look at all this. Okay, so it appears that we we pushed them out. I mean, we just shooting and and that. I mean, you know, I I think that those uh, those Jocelyns are pretty good. Like, I can't. I can't complain that I paid 50000 for them to give them to rookies. Like, uh, I just cannot complain about it. Because I still had like a million and a half once I sold off all the guns. But that, but that just tells you that it's a pretty good gun. And I, and, I, and I honestly think if I played this again, that I think once the store or the shop has those guns, I think I'm going to stop buying them out. Or at least get one unit to have it. Just like in the CSA campaign, it'll be the Whitworth that I'll uh, get. Cause that one has high high melee value and stuff like that too.
And I don't even. And you know the funny thing is I don't even have all my guns here. Yeah, like they're, they're coming from a very long way. He's not going to be able to do it by himself. I was just trying to squeeze him by, but it wasn't going to... I thought he could just sit there and shoot his pistol. Alright, we knocked out one, one artillery. Can't complain about that. And we just knocked out that artillery. And we're going to come down and get this supply wagon. They're going to go after him. Got him. And now we're going to try to kill the general. Let's go get the general. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. All right. Okay. Well, it looks like, um, I wonder if he gave up or something. Um, it, we, we finally got that artillery and then, I mean, we knocked out the artillery and then that one infantry unit, which was somewhere over here, I guess he just gave up or died or something, I don't know. But, it, it now the whole thing is opening up, and and we can go for the, the juggernaut now, and it'll be over. And then I can bring this to an end. Okay. Now, I can say, and this is the JPT-10, but um, in the UI mod in the base game, they do get some reinforcements over here. So you do have to leave somebody here at this. Um, you can't just walk away and forget about it. But I've got plenty of force. And so, um, you know what I mean? And it's the end, so it's not like I have to conserve anybody. Um, and so what we're going to do is just tell all these guys to head that way, I guess. These are all my better units, and then this is my beat-up units, I guess. So then we're going to tell these guys to go right here. Like that, and we'll take, um, oh yeah, okay, wait a minute. All right, you guys are going to go for Washington, uh, Richmond, I guess, excuse me, I, I, I always confuse that. But anyways, okay, so you, any unit that's a big unit. Is going to head for the objective, and uh, anybody else is going to hold the fort. So you can see we've got plenty of force. Um, 
Uh, 24s, I guess I can put them over here. Okay, let's go ahead and get that going, and then I'll um, divvy these guys out, I guess. Now, these guns can head up there. They'll be able to shoot at whatever they see. Supply wagon, move. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of supply wagons. We'll stick one supply wagon here, and then we'll move one supply wagon there. You guys move. Okay, the small units, where are you? You take this. You take that. Now uh, you come in the middle there, and um, everybody else move. And matter of fact, the twenty pounder, I guess it can move over there. Another twenty over here. And I don't. We don't even know what they got. They, they can't have much. I mean, there's a little red right here. So I mean, you can see. I mean, I knew. I know they get reinforcements. I know. They normally would get some right here, and they they normally get them from over here and stuff. So why don't we go fast? Why don't we go fast? Because anything we can see... And here's the Iron Brigade. Go for it, Iron Brigade. Iron Brigade, go for it. Come on, you can... You can charge. Somebody should be able to charge. You guys should be 100%. Go get them. Let's get the Iron Brigade in there to do it. Yay! Let's go up here. Like, yeah, like I said, I saved my last score for the best... My best score for this. Plus we have, uh... The fourth core, so... So, yeah. Oh, boy, he got pushed down because of the guns. Yeah, I mean, there's no... This is not a contest anymore. It's not a contest. I got the two forts, so they, they want to just say, okay. So yeah, this is probably, I don't know, this is probably the easiest I've ever had. <laughs> like, you, you can't do this in the UI mod. <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh boy. So, so why are we back here? Okay, so I got to claim the forts and stuff is I think what it is. So yeah, we gotta claim the forts. We can't just uh, let them have it. So yeah. So I'll put guns in them. Claim the forts. Come on, we gotta claim the forts. Um, we have guns. Yeah, let's put guns in here. Just for the heck of it. And we had already claimed this, and I already have units here, so it's not like, um... Yeah, you, this is an overkill, I guess. Yes, there are too many, I agree with you. But, we don't want it the other way, so... We don't want to be crying it's too many in the enemy, so... Because <laughs> I have, you know, I've had some hard times with this game, so I mean, I know how it can be under MG and, and uh, I've done legendary a little bit but um nah it's it's just that I don't like I don't like seeing automatic three star units like the enemy has like I, I don't like to see that <laughs> like it, it especially in the first or the second battle that you do <laughs> like you see three star units and you're like how could they possibly have three star units <laughs> But that's how it is under MG and Legendary. And then when you get to the battles where they're all three-star units, you, you say to yourself, how could that be? 
do you know how, how much it costs? I mean, like right now, like I said, if, if I, if I had, of course, if you had the veterans, like the, you can't do it now because the JMP changed it. Johnny and Panda changed it. So, I mean, you only have a limited supply of veterans now. You can't buy veterans as long as you could afford them. Like in the, in the other, so in the base game, and, and, and like I said, if you don't like that in this JMP thing, you could always, you know, just uh, have Steam do the integrity thing, and then that wipes out JMP, and then install the UI mod, and, and you'll be able to do those kind of things. But, okay, so like I said, um, I don't know why they've switched to this. Maybe they think I, ha I have them all. Like, like I say, okay, so counterattack me and give me somebody to fight. Um, they usually come from this way, this way. So we'll go ahead and have these units get over. Like, I think they come this way or they come this way. Then this thing is supposed to open up this way in case you didn't do whatever you did. But you can see that um, I prepared um, my units and stuff. And like I said, my my first core is my best core. So everybody is a two star and I have I two I have two iron brigades. And I have a few artillery that's three star and I have one sniper that's a three star. Everybody else is a two star and then even in my second core that that holds true that uh, I have all two stars units. And that's what I fought the campaign with was was basically two cores. And that's why they are two star units. But when it comes to the third core, I only had a few units and I I I think a couple of them are two star. And then the rest are all rookies for the for the other two cores and a half. So so you can play I guess you can play the Union campaign with just two cores. Pretty much. Or uh, two and a half, let's say. Because that's basically what I did. I mean, had I been a had I been able to play with all five cores, then I would have a lot of two star units. But because I didn't do that, um, I believe that well, I don't want to lose my train of thought. But I believe that I that you know you can you can uh, look at I didn't even get attacked over here yet. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, this doesn't make much sense, and I need a cap, where's my cab? Come on, I know I must have a cab somewhere. You, you are 500, you look like you didn't do much. I, I, I bet you my guys are gonna shoot that supply wagon. Fire! Yep, I knew it. They get, okay, well, whatever, I, you know. It, it's not like it's not like I need money, and it's not like I need it. It's the end of the campaign. I have a million and a half of money because I sold all my rifles and stuff like that. So it's now or never. Yeah, it's now or never, like Elvis Presley would say. Okay, well, like I said, I don't believe uh, wherever the enemy is, uh, you know, we'll just uh, we'll. Um, We'll just rush them and whatever. It's just, it's the end. I mean, y you know, and, 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 and anybody goes through the campaign, you want to get to the end and get and just get it over with. And, and, it, and it holds true to me too. Now, somehow we didn't capture this. It looks like. Okay, so we... Hey, we didn't totally kill their supply wagon. I'll send this cab over here to get it. Just for the heck of it. Yeah, this is like an overkill. I mean... But, like I said, if you play MG or Legendary, uh, you'll be crying at this when when the enemy is this size and you're not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
But, like I said, this has to be... And, and, and yes, I could have made it harder by maybe doubling the uh, size of the AI and change it from a default 1 to a, def to a 2, which, which I would assume would double them. Like double their size. So if these guys are 18, they'd be 16, and then I'd be 1250, right? So, I mean, maybe I could have done that, like, ahead of time had I known it would be this way in this battle. But I had, you know, the thing is, um, you have no way of knowing until you do it and get in here. You know what I mean? Like, like this is it for me. I mean, th this is what I'm doing. And so, but having the knowledge that... Had I known that I would only be facing this, I, I could have done something to make them a little bit bigger. And I think that's the intent of Johnny and Panda. And we just gotta block them off and that'll be the end of that. And on honestly, if I brought the guns in there, Yeah, we'll get the uh, enemy out of here to, to, to just leave, I guess, because it's kind of confusing having them in here. Yeah, I understand. I can actually feel sorry for you, but it's, it's just the idea that, like I said, I didn't know how this campaign would go, so I did my best with my units of 1250, like I I did all that I could, I had two good cores, and then, you know, the others, so I mean, and, and I'm telling you just, even my one star unit rookie units did pretty good because I gave them the Jocelyn's weapon, so you have to tell me what you think of that, you know? Like, if you start the campaign and you add Jocelyn's, you would not give it to a rookie unit. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Because just have a 1250 unit costs 50,000. So, I mean, I think it would be kind of hard. And I, and I bet you Jocelyn's are not even available at that time. But, but maybe when you get to 1863, they'll become available. <laughs> but, like I said, um... I used to, sh you know, if you play the uh, UI mod and you play the, the base game, you're mostly a shooter in the game. Like, that's what you want to do. You just want to shoot. But when you play the JP mod, you have to think in terms of melee. And so that's why I now believe that... Okay, to buy the better guns... But, but also keep in mind that you want to have the 80, at least the 80 in me melee. Because when the, when the AI is like two or three star units, they, they charge like, like, like crazy. But, but their, their training has been, been they, they, they haven't done much with their training or something. I mean, okay, so if I've been getting wiped, so I've been wiping them out, maybe that's a, that's an effect to them, but and if they're always having, and if they're always gaining recruits, but they're not gaining veterans, then, then they got themselves a big problem. I mean, just letting these, these guys And like I said, the Jocelyn is really good as a shooter as well as a melee weapon. And I think the Hopper Fairy is the same way. Like, it's good as a shooter and, a, and also a melee weapon. 
and I believe the Springfield 63 is maybe not as good. Uh, let me let me see. Oh no, this is a Spencer. This guy has the Spencer. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so now we get hit over here. Yep, yep, got an artillery unit right here. Okay. Why don't you three head over there, and that'll be the end of that. All right, let's just do this. Charge, my friend. Charge, my friend. Charge, my friend. See, they don't want to charge. They want to just shoot. I mean, I thought a double click is supposed to be charge. I guess it's better to press the C, the C key to make sure that they will charge. I mean, I used to think double. I, I used to thought that double double check or uh, double click was a would would do the charge, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, well, this was a overkill of the enemy. Um, they had, like, my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did they have nine generals? Holy. So here I had uh, me, Manny, uh, Woods, Grant, and McCollum. Okay, so we had a whopping 100, over 100,000. And I guess they did only have the 38,000. Um, so yeah, so this, this is like I said, but again, I, I came into this campaign not knowing. I ran into a few problems when it when I got to Gettysburg or Anhedum, wherever. Whenever Panda split those three-star units, they had like so many units they could cover the whole thing. But once you get past that, um, you can, um, you know what I mean. And so, but I, so I didn't really know how it would go. And like I said, for uh, I'm gonna tell you, like I even told Panda a long time ago, uh, yeah, I would never play the JP because, you know, he, they made it harder and they totally rebalanced and changed it, so I would never do it. But I, but I, but I, but I finally uh, did it and flicked it. Hey, look at this. Inflict at least 90% casualties to the enemy. <laughs> Well, I wiped out the enemy, so that's got to be more than 90%, but either way, I, I got all the objectives, so that's the important thing. You can see the list of units that were in the battle. You can see that. Wow. Wow, that is a lot of units. That's a lot of units. And you can see the officers here. We've got some promotions. A couple of major generals. And goods. Look at look at the uh, guns. I mean. We even got some 24s. And this supply we must have captured at the beginning or it was near a depot because it's at 12,500. 12, so yep. Okay folks, that is it I believe. And I completed it. Didn't know how it would go in 38 battles, and here I am. So whatever I said or whatever, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's over. Yep, it's over. Alright. So, um... Gain 38 reputation, and that's about it, and 1856 of, um,
prisoners that, that you know, we had we had 6,000 of them, and uh, so they give us back 1856. All right, this is it. Hooray! The Union has finally prevailed. The Confederates' capital is taken, and the rebels signed a peace treaty accepting our terms. The brutal civil war that cost the lives of thousands and divided our nation far for more than four years is finally over. All Confederate generals have surrendered, including Lee, your greatest adversary. The country will be united again. Slavery shall cease to exist in the United States. The reconstruction era begins that will reform our nation and ensure that the Americans will never fight Americans again. I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. In the great and terrible Civil War, few men played a more crucial role than you. Your magnificent leadership and your martial skill are carved in the pathron of history. The brilliance of your victories led the citizens of your home state to elect you to the United States Senate, after which you formulated military policy for a decade as Secretary of War before returning home in peace. And uh, this shows that. All right, well, what can I say, folks? It's over, word. Thank goodness. Yep, it's over. All right, well, here we are. As I said, one, two, eight, three, T, ten. So I call it the T, ten. <laughs> Major changes, you can see right here. All right, well, that's it, folks. Next is the CSA at Washington. Um, that'll be next. And you know, like I said, um, I'll have to see how that goes. But you know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let it happen. Like wh whatever it is, it is. I'm not gonna change anything in the config. I'm just gonna let it happen. See what happens. So no matter where you are in the world, have a great day, great afternoon, a great evening. Please take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. Keep all religions equal. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos. And adios, the lovely. And I mean really the lovely amigas.